What's everyone saying? It's your boy Summon Explores back again. I'm here today outside London Victoria Station and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the 507 and the 521, London's iconic commuter buses. Oh, and you're going to be joining me. Yeah. The 507 and 521 are two bus routes run by Go Ahead here in London that were part of the original Red Arrow group of express routes which aim to transport commuters between railway termini and key locations in central London. The Red Arrow service started in 1966 with one route, the 500, which did a cheeky circular starting and ending at Victoria Station, going by Park Lane, Marble Arch, Oxford Street and back down to Victoria. This was just one of 20 routes that aimed to provide an efficient express service, avoiding inner city congestion by skipping them intermediate stops. Most routes survived until the late 1980s, but the 507 and the 521, which began service in 1992, are the only two that remain. In the past, Red Arrow branding was visible on the size of the vehicles, but as the number of routes decreased over time, the significance of the brand faded and faded. Nowadays, the branding is very, very minimal. You only see the Red Arrow logo on the onboard information screens on the buses. The 507 serves Victoria and Waterloo, travelling through Millbank and Lambeth Bridge, passing locations like Westminster Cathedral, the Channel 4 headquarters and St Thomas's Hospital. It takes around 12 to 15 minutes to ride end to end, and there's only like 10 stops on the route. On the other hand, the 521 connects with the 507 at Waterloo, running to London Bridge via the Kingsway Tunnel, City Thameslink, St Paul's Cathedral and down to London Bridge. This route takes around 30 minutes to go end to end, and you'll most likely get stuck in a traffic jam on a bad day. You can easily see these routes would have been very busy before the pandemic, you wouldn't need to wait long for a bus to turn up, but nowadays they run at a peak timing of around every 10 minutes. The two routes were the first in London to be converted into articulated operation. Shout out the Bendy buses. Everyone knows what happened to them though. A few accidents, a Boris as a mayor, a new bus, and boom, they were gone by 2011. Nowadays, the two routes use a large set of Alexander Dennis Enviro 200 bodied BYD electric buses, which are based at Waterloo Depot in central London. It's a massive change from the old Mercedes-Benz Sitaros, in my opinion the best buses in the city, which have now moved to the Route 108 in East London and to Luton Airport for the railway bus link. I find the 507s and 521s special. One, because they're specifically catered for heavy commuter loads with the lack of seats found on the bus. The BYD buses only have a certain number of seats compared to a regular bus which obviously has more. This is with space being prioritised for standing passengers. That's why they've earned their unfortunate nicknames of being cattle trucks. Another thing is that they're now the only buses in London where you can get on and off through the rear set of doors. You used to be able to enter through any door on the new Routemaster buses, but that was ended in January 2020 after the trial of front door access on the A proved successful. The buses are fit with USB charging at most seats, a large standing area and the onboard iBus information system. This screen shows the next stop, estimated arrival times and train times at nearby railway stations on the large LED screen. It's nifty because you're able to just jump off the bus, go straight to the platform and onto your train, you know, without faffing about having a look and seeing what platform you have to get on. The importance of these routes may have faded since Coco 19 came and changed commuter habits in the city, but they're still iconic. I love to ride on them when I get the chance. They're probably my most used routes in central London to be fair. Maybe next time I'll slide on with a briefcase and a newspaper or something like that. I don't know. Well I'm here at London Bridge Station. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment what you want to see in the future and also subscribe. It's been your boy Summon Explorers and I'll catch you in the next one in a bit.